We're heading to Global Bus Park. We're going to grab a bus to Mbara, mm. to Shema for a uh, <laughs> for wedding. A wedding? For, a wedding. for, uh, for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving. So we're going to head to Shema for our Thanksgiving. Shema. But first we're going to stop by Mbara. Uh, I'm going to check on uh, my parents and also a project that I did last year and just follow it up. If you want to check that out, check on the link here to see the project that I did. So I arrived at the bus park at around 8.30 in the morning and we were taking global bus which usually goes to Mbarara every 30 minutes. The cool thing about the new bus areas, um, buses park according to the regions they're going to, which helps to get out of town really fast, but also decongested the buses. So yeah, that, that, that was really a nice development on the side of the city council to kind of split up the bus parks. Yeah, so I usually pack my own snacks when I'm traveling so that I don't buy on the roadside. And this flavor just of milk has too much sugar. But when we were on the road, it was just so beautiful and calm. I always like traveling up country to go to the village because you really get to appreciate nature, which you don't get to see much when you're in the city. If you grew up in the city, then you really don't know what a beautiful relief looks like. So it's really sad when I see all these plastic bottles and polythene bags thrown at the side of the road by travelers. I wish there was a law like police stop you and arrest you or something because it's so sad because you know that stuff can't break down into it's not biodegradable so it just sits there and it's so sad that such a beautiful place is being destroyed by us but what are we supposed to do if we can't follow just nature's law of trying to protect our land anyway so we arrived at my dad's ranch which was kind of exciting for me because i got to see my project being used this is something that i did for my masters and yeah so i was kind of excited to see it mm. he removed the buckets because the back you guys were what were they were breaking the buckets so they, they built they built feed, feeding troughs instead mm -hmm. There's one cassic one there, Bambi. Mm. The timber's kind of faded. Um, it was heat treated pallets, but I didn't put any kind of varnish because the young calves would lick it. So I'm still trying to figure out what a solution I can use. But this was one of my nicest projects and it really inspired me to just know what I want to do next. and. Just give me some inspiration for my future. This is a group one. So they put it, they made some group things. I think you saw it the time you came. The thing about this project is that it's transferable. Like you can deassemble all this and transfer it elsewhere. So that was kind of cool. Then we went to Shema Chitagata for the uh, Thanksgiving this church just blew my mind I love exposed brick especially done in such a neat way and I wish we could do it more but people like plastering so this was kind of like a highlight for me um, then yes this is a celebrant uh, my husband's mom she was standing 64 and she was celebrating retirement so she was the preacher of the day and it was really nice and beautiful and she spoke well and she really encouraged us and she was also honoring the bible society so that was pretty cool so the next day we went on a hike around the property we went through the banana plantations and just looked at the work um, my dad-in-law is doing around his farm and the projects he's up to and it really gave me so much inspiration um, because I really love nature but I also love farming. I grew up um, with my dad who really loves farming and has always done farming and something I've always wanted to go into later on. Um, so that was nice. This is the new road um, from Chitagata. So 
ah, sitting on it was just like a dream come true. I've always only takes one of these pictures. So it was kind of exciting to do that. Um, so we had to cross over to the other side of the road and see the rest of the property and just kind of see the projects. And it's just really nice to see what people are doing in terms of farming around and trying to take it to the next level. And then we had a picnic with the whole family, which was kind of exciting. Mm -hmm.